So here's the first thing I've done. I've said I've introduced some pronumerals, A and X. Now, apples, A for apples, why did I let oranges be X? Anyone want to just suggest a practical reason why I didn't call them O? Yeah? Because O would make it look like 2X would be 20. Yeah, O, if I let them equal O dollars, right, and I'm about to write, you know, this, right? If O were the letter I was using, how quickly do you think my brain under pressure in an exam is going to read that as 20 rather than 2O? And the answer is super fast. So I'm going to avoid that just because I know I'm error prone in that way. So I've got these two pronumerals and I'm going to use them to now construct my equations. What have I got? Seven apples, two oranges. So does your first equation look something like that? Yep, with whatever letter that you used. Okay, good. Then we've got a second one, five apples, four oranges, five apples, four oranges, and I think it's $4.40, is that what it is, yep. Okay, happy times. Now I've written my equations, at this point it's really important that you give your equations names, a label, because you're about to get them to interact and get them to work with each other, so you don't want to say like that equation or the other one in this corner, so just give them names. Um, and I think most of you are pretty comfortable calling them things like one and two. And now at this point, you want to think about the strategies that you have at your disposal for solving simultaneous equations. There are two primary ones, and they, they are why I've chosen these particular questions. What was the strategy that most of you chose for this? Any suggestions? You go ahead. Elimination. Okay, let me write that down because it's so important. Elimination is one of these names, right? Elimination, what it refers to is I'm going to try and eliminate one of these pronumerals out of the equation, okay? And you can do this in a variety of ways, but it looks like probably the easiest way is to do something simple with equation one. Any suggestions? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So it's really important when you decide on what you're going to do with these equations that you actually say what it is that you're going to do, right? You don't just write some new equation out of nowhere. You've got to say where it comes from. So I'm going to take that first equation, multiply by two as suggested, and that gives me this. 4x equals 8. So remembering that you're multiplying the entire equation by, by 2, so everything comes along for the ride. Okay? Now, raise your hand if you call this next equation, equation 3. Hands up. About, about half of you. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Hands down. You can call it anything you like. Equation 3 is totally fine. It's certainly better than calling it nothing. I'm just going to make a subtle suggestion here, though. Rather than calling it equation 3, in this case, I name this one 1a. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I actually want to know where this equation, where was its origin? Like, which equation was I mucking about with to create this one? In this particular problem, that doesn't end up being that big a deal. But later on, you really, it makes a difference which equation you got things from. And you want to have something in the name rather than three, which you're like, where did I get three from? I don't know. It was just the next thing. This name is a bit more descriptive, OK? What will I do with 1a? What was the point of multiplying it by 2? Let's see if someone else can give a suggestion. Yeah. OK, very good. So I was trying to eliminate out a variable, uh, a pronumeral rather. And you can see we've matched up these four x's. So if I subtract one of these equations from the other, um, then things will come out in the wash. Should I subtract? Do I, should I do 1a take away 2 or 2 take away 1a? Does, does it matter? In a sense, it doesn't matter, but what's easier is to do it in this order. 1a, take away 2, and the reason is because... Yeah, you come out with positive numbers, right? I'm going to get lots of a's and fewer a's. A bigger number, take away a smaller number. It will still work out if I did it in reverse order. I just get negatives on both sides, which we know we want to try and avoid. Okay? So what do we end up with? Uh, how many a's will they be left with? We'll have nine of them. The x's, of course, have been... Cancel because we eliminated them. That was the whole point. And um, what's the currency left over there? Three dollars sixty. Very good. Okay, so now I can just divide through, and I have the cost of my apple. Fantastic. What am I going to do with this guy? Yeah, I'm going to substitute it back in. Um, where would you like me to substitute this back into? This particular. Hey. One. Are you happy with this one? Two. This one? Yeah. Does it? Does it matter? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, just for my brain's sake, I think I'd probably go, hmm. I think I'd probably go here. I'll show you why. Uh, here's equation two. Five lots of 
zero dollars forty. Do you see that? That's like a really easy thing for my brain to handle. So I'm going to say that's plus four x equals four dollars forty. Everything else was unchanged, and this is a really easy sort of calculation to finalize, right? Uh, five lots of forty cents, of course, is two dollars, and then I can carry on to the end. What did you get as your final cost for your orange? 60 cents. Now, what would you do with these two answers when you've got these and you're finished? What would you do next? Okay, so I want to tie this up in a, yeah, tie, tie it up in a nice neat bow, right? I think the nicest, neatest bow would actually be to say, well, A and X were just things I introduced. The question had nothing to do with those. In fact, there were no pronumials in it at all. So I should actually say the apple which is what it was really interested in, right, is 40 cents. And orange is, whoops, 60 cents. OK? So you tied this up in a nice neat bow. Um, if you had a few minutes left at the end, what would you then subsequently do? After having done all the questions and you were going back and you had a look. You could totally check this, right? You could substitute it back into either or both of these equations, and they should check out, which I think we're happy with. OK with that?